Chapter four. Jeffrey made three other appearances that first day. The first came at one of the high school fields during 11th grade gym class. Most of the students were playing soccer, but about a dozen were playing football because they were on the varsity and the gym teacher happened to be the football coach. The star quarterback, Brian Dennehy, wound up and threw a 60 yard to his favorite receiver, James Hands Down, who was streaking a fly pattern down the sideline. But the ball never quite reached Hands. Just as he was about to cradle it in his big brown loving mitts, it finished. By the time he recovered from the shock, a little kid was weaving upfield through the varsity football players. Nobody laid a paw on him. When the kid got down to the soccer field, he turned and punted the ball. It sailed back over the up-looking gym classers, spiraling more perfectly than anything Brian Dennehy had ever thrown and landed in the outstretched hands of a still-stunned hands down. Then the kid ran off. There was one other thing something that all of them saw, but no one believed until they compared notes after school that day. Up until that punt, the kid had done everything with one hand. He had to, because in his other hand was a book. <laughs>